Hey everyone, here's another tip from the great Jake Hanna. And this one is about brushes. This is something that Jake showed me, another thing that he showed me when I was fortunate enough to take a lesson with him. And Jake was such an amazing brush player. There were so many things he could do with brushes. He was one of the absolute greatest brush players who I ever saw. And uh, there were some elements of this that were in the last video I did about brushes, but the thing that Jake really impressed upon me was the way he liked to approach brushes. He said if he was playing something, let's say a, a basic brush beat, something like So what Jake liked to do with his right hand, he told me instead of playing it like this, what Jake liked to do was So sweeping those notes instead of just playing them as taps. And it's a more mellow sound, it's sort of dulling the attack of the brush a little bit, it's a more legato sound, it's a fuller sound. And those sweeps, especially on one and three, and it's almost, it sounds kind of like playing the hi-hat. So when you've already got those sweeps going on just with the right hand, then when you add the left hand in, it's a real nice full brush sound. And that will work at a lot of different tempos, obviously slow. The tempo gets faster, obviously those sweeps have to be smaller, and at faster tempos there's not much time to do a sweep on two and four, but you can still bring out that sweep on one and three a little bit, again like the hi-hat. So it's a nice way to approach brushes. Again, the difference playing it as taps and so you can hear the difference. Again, it's subtle, as I've said before, these little changes can make a big difference in the music. So, and then from there, this isn't something that Jake specifically told me, but just a logical extension from that that anything you're doing with brushes, you could play it as a sweep instead of a tap. So, single strokes. Or just anything that you would play. Anything with brushes, you can do it that way as well. So that adds a nice dimension to what you can do with brushes. So have a try with that if it's not something you've checked out before and listen to Jake Hanna. He will never disappoint you, any of his recordings. And I'm just lucky. I wish I had gotten to spend more time with him, but I'm grateful uh, for what I had. So I just wanted to pass that along. I know there's some Jake Hanna fans out there as well there should be. So hope that was interesting. I'll be back soon. Thank you.